What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to Rebel and Wi Fi Battle with George Lewis for the Scarander. And today, going again, Samuel1802, who was one of my Twitter followers, who are um, one of those few that responded on a potential PU battle. And he's bringing a really cool team with uh, Mr. Mime, Monferno, Frillish, Servine, Gabite, and Minor. Uh, I myself decided to actually switch out to Mons uh, from a previous game because I thought my team was kind of potent. So I decided to bring a bit more of a funnier set, so I decided to bring a Sword Stance, Meganium, and a Salt Vest um, Avalog. Which is a terrible set, mind you guys, I'm not encouraging anybody to use that ever. Uh, but anyway, looking to my opponent's team here, there are a lot of bulk in it, but um, definitely a lot of not fully evolved mons. And uh, Mr. Rhyme tend to be the highest threat here, because I have nothing that really outspeeds it if that set is scarf, which is a common set. And um, outside of that, I should be doing well here. There are mons that are threatening, but Dujo should in theory be able to sweep this team with um, some good predictions. And uh, this battle is actually a bit longer due to the natural bulk of my opponent's team, so uh, it's gonna be a bit sped up, but don't worry guys, it's still a very exciting game. And if anything, I had a lot of fun recording this and of course playing this battle. So, really, with, of course, all of this in mind, guys, let's set this up. So, from the get-go, I actually didn't have a really good idea on what my opponent would potentially start off with. But he's gonna start off with Minum, and I start off with a Duro, so I decided that, yeah, might as well go for damage, I guess. Uh, potentially thinking his Focus Sash, so I'm just gonna go for, of course, a knockoff. And he's leftovers and he goes for a nuzzle. That's um that's bad. That's really bad. I'm gonna decide to switch out here because obviously I'm not potentially glad of taking a T bolt. And he's actually going for Electro Ball, which definitely would have finished off my Dudro. Uh, but luckily that did not come to fruition. I decided to lock myself into I believe a banded play rough. No, I went for U-turn, alright. Risky business, risky business. This Frillish was really tough for me to deal with because I don't really know what that's gonna do. And I don't know how bulky that is either, I never faced one. So I decided to go for Spec Dark Pulse and that is not even 50%. Luckily for me he does miss the potential of Willow Wisp, but the thing is here, I don't get the flinch ask or the flinch action that I'm looking for. I kinda need one flinch and then I should be able to take it out. So I'm just spamming this and you know, hoping for something. Uh, but he will actually recover just fine. I'm, I mean, I have a 20% chance of flinching, so it's not a big hit. I mean, I really need to have some momentum if that's going to break through. So he's going to go back to his Electron and pretty much fire it off, and I get that. That was probably the safest play, if anything. And it's not like Mime's going to do anything anyway. He got, you know, the big Nuzzle hit, and that's the only thing that matters. Now he's going to bring Handsome, and I didn't really feel like staying in. I know that Avalog can take this damage whatsoever, it doesn't really matter what it goes for, but it's gonna go for Stone Edge. While it does hurt, I'm still not invested in HP or my defenses, so it's not really doing that whole lot. So I'm gonna decide to go for an Earthquake, because that was kind of a natural move to go for, and it does a good chunk of damage, but I'm pretty sure that he was gonna go for Will Whisper. So I'm gonna go to Mithrandril basically to uh, avoid that completely. And I do think I go for a knockoff here, hoping for something to hit hard. And he's gonna go to his Grillby, and that's a 50% hit, actually. And uh, being that he is Life Orb, I know that he's gonna pack a punch. I might as well fodder off my Avalog, which is not gonna do a whole lot of this game. He's gonna get his Rocks up, which is really bad. But at the same time, I don't really have to worry about it. He goes for Fire Punch, and that is not enough to kill me. Um, because I'm still an Avalog. Flamethrower? Definitely. I don't think, even with Assault Vest, I don't think I would be able to take that. But anyway, he's gonna bring Chaplin, who of course being a Mr. Mime. And I don't really know how to tackle this thing properly now that my um, Durjo is uh, paralyzed, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna bring Malekith, because I hope, or rather I know, that if I survive the Dazzling Gleam and go for a nasty plot, I have an 80% chance of actually killing it with a Surf. So I decided that, alright, that's probably the only response I have, and I can pretty much finish this game off from there. So I went for an plot, I got the Salic Extent, and here comes the Surf, and yeah... Bullshit. Strikes. <laughs> so it's about just Slither of Health, you know, like I said, I have an 80% chance of killing him, so you know, it was a risk, it was a roll, and it did survive it. 
So I'm gonna bring Esper here, and I'm just gonna lock myself into Psy Shock, I believe. Um, felt like a safest bet, really. And he's gonna bring Handsome, and uh, Handsome is not to take in two of these. He is not as actually doing a lot of damage on him, which is incredible. Which, of course, just only brings more. It probably is a more offensive set, if anything. So anyway, Ivangia. I hope I say that right. Ivangia? No? <laughs> I was pretty close saying something else. Anyway, uh, this is where the game gets um, tough. I'm, I won't lie here. Like At this point, I think I am 5 to 0 against him. or five. He has only this one, and I do believe... The, he has a Frillish left and Mr. Mime, but basically I have a Felthy Meganium, so all I need is to bring this one down and I should be fine. But the thing is, he sets, keeps setting up Call Mine, Ziggy Rain does a lot of damage on me, so he's definitely getting some momentum. The crit actually helps him, of course, recover a whole lot more. But it doesn't really matter because I don't pack enough punch to actually kill him. And he's gonna set, keep setting Call Mine up on, against me, so he's getting dangerous by the second. And uh, if I like, is really keeping him healthy, so I need to work around this, I really do. Because he's right now getting plenty of momentum. So I'm going to bring Actros, uh, basically want to see what we want to do. And basically I'm going to go for a uh, Bandit U-turn, see how much it does. And um, it does nothing. Yeah, that's um, that's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, should probably not switch to, to detonate there. So anyway, we're gonna bring Mithran Deal because I know I can take a potential Giga Drain and hopefully go for a knockoff. But it's actually gonna go call mine instead, which of course is fine. But had I played this game smarter, I probably should have gone for Braver here. I do decide to go for uh, um, knockoff instead and bring out. Very very cool move. Um, I don't really know how that works, but obviously it didn't work too well. It's a normal special hit. I do believe that. Um, but yeah, I went for a knockoff, which you know, when all said and done, it's kind of fair. But the thing is what I do here afterwards, because until now I have actually a big chance of winning. But I was thinking, he's probably gonna go for a coal mine on synthesis, I'm better off going for a trick. Um, so that's what I do, but what this what I do is actually backfire a whole lot, because I give him specs. And now he's locked into Giga Drain, with four coal mines behind him, plus that 50% boost. So I'm right now screwing myself over, and I'm forced to go for Meganium now, and pretty much hope that two sword stands is enough to finish him off, because I was supposed to bring this one down without using Meganium because I needed health against Mr. Mime, but uh, I did not do that. I, like I said, I did make this a whole lot worse. Uh, so it's gonna push me down to the overgrow limit, which is what I'm trying to go for, because from here a Petal Dance should actually be more, or a Petal Blizzard should be more than enough to kill him. So uh, yeah, you know, overgrow do work. And, uh, but the thing is, his Mr. Mime is scarfed, so it's not like I'm going to outspeed it. And um, basically, I'm, I, I lost. <laughs> I sadly, I lost. Though, like I said, I didn't really mind it because I kind of screwed myself over here uh, with, of course, that trick. I should just have locked myself into Psy Shock, and the game would have turned in my favor. But, I don't know. I, I made a bad call, and I think the rest of the game just kind of represents that. The thing is that. I could have hoped that I could survive a Psychic, but I'm still at DNA. So even though I'm naturally faster due to his Scarf, I won't be able to outspeed. And Psychic is more than plenty to killing off my poor DNA. So uh, GG Samuel, that was a very, very fun game. Um, it's a really fun just seeing unique sets against me, and uh, it actually worked this time. I screwed myself over, definitely, but I think you played a good game outside of that, to be honest. So yeah, definitely a server I need to, of course, be on the picture of anything. I think I played, like, not badly this game, but did take a few risks in this battle. And um, obviously by the matchup alone, I should have done really well here. But some questionable play and, of course, some mid-max against me was pretty much the end of this match for me. Um, I think that uh, trick to his, <laughs> to his server was basically like the nail in the coffin. Because until then I had a fair chance of actually turning this battle around to my favor. But, you know, once you, you do those plays once in a while and uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I thought it was a great game for Ruru and had a lot of fun battling. So, Samuel, good game. Like I said, it's a pleasure battling people who are using a bit more of the weird set because that makes for a lot of different kind of competitive battle, which is just all kinds of fun. So thank you so much for that. And for everybody else, of course, 
I want to thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, uh, next two days here, of course, are TBU day. So tomorrow is my preview uh, for the St. Louis shoutouts, and uh, the game is followed next day. And during the weekend, I might upload something, but I won't stream. Uh, just have that said. But anyway, guys, like I said, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.